Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And everyone else, guess what? I'm late. Always. You know how I get down. Nintendo Direct. Super Mario Brothers Movie. Yahoo! Ah, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard the rumblings, but I haven't had a chance to really watch this fully out, so let's react. Let's react to the Super Mario Brothers movie. Yahoo, can't wait to see this movie. <laughs> I got my cappy just in case. Um... Y'all know what it is, though. Shout out to Nintendo for providing this product, no matter what the product looks like. Listen, you don't like the you don't like the product. Sorry for you, homie. I always, no matter what, I like the product. All right, let's. <laughs> Please wait. Where's the? Here we go. It's a time for the Super Mario movie review from Run JD Run. You better like the movie, JD. <laughs> All right, let's watch it. Let's watch it as JD first, and then we'll give our <laughs> feedback as Mario. All right, hold on. Bring this down. Here we go. Oh, it's loud. Jesus Christ. Wait, hold on. Go back. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. As we previously mentioned, in Hello, today's Shigeru. Nintendo Direct will reveal the first trailer for the Super Mario Brothers animated movie for the yeah. very first time. So this excited. Nintendo Direct is also being broadcast simultaneously at New York Comic Con. Oh. Hello, New York Comic Con. Oh, I'm sure that was a it's hype been moment. 40 years since the original Mario Brothers game was released in Japan. I thought they were going to say 40 years today, since the last movie with John Leguizamo. <laughs> are playing Mario games. Thank you all so much. Finally, the world of Super Mario Brothers will become an animated movie. We've been working on this movie together with Chris Melodandri from Illumination for a long time, mm. from brainstorming and all the way through production. The time flew by as we were having fun figuring out how to depict the Super Mario characters and world. Now, I'd like to hear from Chris-san, my good friend and great partner for the movie. Let's bring him in. Chris-san. Chris-san. Thank you, Miyamoto-san. I am speaking on behalf of our directors, Michael Jelinek, Aaron Horvath, and the entire Illumination crew of artists when I tell you that producing the Super Mario Brothers movie with you and your team at Nintendo yeah. has been an absolute privilege. All right. Our crew is filled with Mario fanatics and they're bringing the very best of their talent to this film every day. I hope so. Next week, we complete animation. We're knee deep into lighting <laughs> and compositing. Me. Composer Brian Tyler heads to the scoring stage in just 11 days. He's been working hand in hand. JD, why are you so Kondo suspicious? The great classic themes from the game. I'm not. I'm, I want to watch. You better not complain, you know, brother. It's been over seven years since we first started talking about making this movie together. And it is thrilling to finally be here to show the very first look at footage with Mario fans at Nintendo Direct <sighs> Sorry. and at New York Comic Con. Miyamoto-san, shall we go ahead and introduce some of our cast? Oh. Hey, Chris-san. Now, I'll introduce two of the stars from this movie. Both of them love Nintendo games and made this into a really fun movie. English voice cast. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, growing up... Man, I spent hours of my life stomping Koopas. Goombas. In the original Mario Brothers arcade game at my local arcade laundromat. Game. And then, of course, it came out on Nintendo, and I played that, I mean, uh, maybe years of my life. Uh, it's it's an honor Wait, truly, arcade game? to be able to speak to the man who created those memories for me. And it's, it's an honor to work alongside him. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to become Mario. <laughs> um, it's a me, Mario. That, uh, that that dream, like all dreams, faces one critical challenge, as in the film. I must face off against an utterly ruthless scene stealer. Every great hero needs a diabolical enemy, and I 
promise you I could not have been paired with the more perfect king of the Koopas, Bowser, and my friend, the great and hilarious, supremely talented Mr. Jack Black. Thank you, Chris, but I can't let you have all the fun. Now it's time for us to make this moment all about me. While you've been dreaming about playing Mario, I've been preparing. Look at all this Koopa muscle I packed on. And this flowing mane doesn't just appear overnight. Do you have any idea how long it took me to learn how to breathe fire? I had to go learn it from Gene Simmons of KISS. And all this hard work's been worth it, though. I am so proud to have been able to collaborate with you and Miyamoto-san, as well as the entire Nintendo and Illumination team on this cinematic experience. One that will make its mark on Mario fandom forever. Yeah. Much love. Peace out. <laughs> Thank you, Chris-san, Jack-san. All right, then. Thank you all for waiting. Let's press the start button. Here we go! Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Is this? I think the one thing that I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, they're, they're gonna get the animation right. We already know that. I saw some of the leaks from the McDonald's meal, Happy Meal, whatever. <coughs> That's a pretty tight castle. Behold, the king of the Koopas. Kevin Michael Richardson is playing Nam uh, Kamek, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Open the gates. Okay. Okay, I like that. <laughs> the penguins? What? Attack! Is for the taste of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. Dang, that boy Bowser OP. What the heck? I finally found it. Now who's gonna stop me? Looks good. What is this place? Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. That one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. I didn't get to hear Luigi. I want to thank all of you for being part of this moment with us, and we're excited to share even more footage in the coming months. I'm looking forward to it too. What do you what think, do you think JD? Mushroom Kingdom. I think it's pretty good. Production pretty good. Currently, you're like not the perfect. Game, we're working on the finishing touches. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to the next trailer. That's all right. It'll be a great experience. <laughs> what do you mean this all right? Mario Brothers movie in movie theaters. You'll get to see the Mushroom Kingdom on the big screen. Look closely and you'll spot things in all sorts of places. This film can be enjoyed by people of all ages. So I hope you'll get to a movie theater and cheer for Mario. That's all for today. We'll see you next spring in movie theaters. Thank you. Yahoo! Okay. I mean, listen, honestly, it just sounds like Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. <laughs> hey, come back. Hold on, hold on. It sounds exactly like Chris Pratt, which is cool. That's fine. I don't think I expected anything more from that. Did we expect something more from that, everybody? Also, did he say, here we come, not here we go? I don't know if that was meant to be said. Also, he mentioned the Mario Brothers arcade game. 
and I was like, hold on. I was like, the Mario Brothers arcade game? I remember the Donkey Kong game. But now that I'm looking at it, there, there, I guess technically was a Mario Brothers maybe arcade game, and then it, then they went from that to uh, Nintendo and uh, Super NES, all that jazz. Listen, I'm not here to judge anyone's anyone's gaming street cred. I think I think it'll be a fun movie, and I mean. Yeah, do I want Charles Martinet to do like a like a probably like a, a little watered down version of what he does does? Yeah, of course. I think everybody does. I think everybody I think I think I think everybody would would appreciate the Mario they grew up with playing the Mario in the movie, but Hollywood doesn't care, y'all. I think that's just what that is. No disrespect. You know what it is? Shout out to Nintendo for always providing that product. What you trying to say, JD? I don't sound like a myself? I mean, you know, you sound cool, bro. What do you mean, JD? It's a me, Mario. It's a me. <laughs> I think it's going to be a fun movie, though. I mean, all the other voice acting is on point. I think that's the weird part. Like, Jack Black just is like, sounds like they took his, uh, his audio and just brought it down, brought the bass down. You know, uh, Keegan Michael Key sounds great as Toad. That, that that sounded like a fine Toad for me. Whatever, tiny voice. Uh, Kamek, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Michael Richardson, I think that's his name. Um, listen, I I think I think if you're surprised that he sounds more like Chris Pratt than than uh, Mario, I, th I think you I think you were. Uh, getting ready for the wrong movie trailer it happened it was cool shout out to nintendo and uh yeah animation wise at least it at least it looks right at least the animation of the film looks like exactly what you would want it to look like without there being any like sonic the hedgehog tweaks and also, this is the type of movie I feel like you should make for a video game character. It should be an animated movie, because, like, even Sonic's movies are a little lacking because you got a storyline about a bunch of humans and these anthropomorphic uh, uh, rodents who are in the real world, which is, like, <coughs> it's, like, weird. It's, like, strange. I think this will be a little bit more on on the cusp of, like, oh, okay, cool video game adaptation adapted to look like the video game that I know and love. So yeah, open the gates. I could have done that. Um, but I ain't Jack Black. And I and we ain't Chris Pratt. Mar Char Charles Martin ain't Chris Pratt. I think that that's the saddest part of this is the fact that voice actors do not get the same kind of respect as traditional actors. And I understand it from the perspective of... Hollywood, you know, kind of deeming like, you know, you and your face and your your star being more popular compared to your voice. But when you do a voice acting movie, you should be hiring what I would say is the equivalent of voice acting superstars, not actors who are just going to lend their voice to a movie to create buzz and build up you know, build up a, uh, sell tickets, I guess. Cause at the end of the day, it's not about Chris Pratt. This is who sells the tickets. It's a me, Mario, who's a selling the tickets. I don't care who is voicing him. I'm going to see the movie for Mario more than the voice actors. Obviously the IP is just so well known. Also, why has he got a collar on his shirt? What is that? What? I guess they tried to make him more traditional as a plumber. I don't I don't know. It's a it's a kids movie. Everybody complaining aren't kids anymore. We just gotta let it go, y'all. And who knows what Luigi's gonna sound like. Hey yo, Mario, what's up, bro? Ah, it's crazy here. <laughs> yeah, that's my thought on this. Uh if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, share, link description below, subscribe, and check out those videos. On the left, y'all. I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. 
Uh, shout out to Nintendo. It's a me!